Onward we yes. go from the good old days we. Um, today in our Never a Minute segment, we are going to be sharing some unpopular... Why are you already crossing your arms? I'm getting ready. You getting, you getting salty? I'm getting ready. I feel, I feel like I've shared a number of these since we started this podcast. <laughs> whether it's very like... Uh, Sonic or Twilight Princess or... I feel like I've I've got a lot out there, but I got more. That's oh, the good yeah. News. This is like... Yeah. This is like an endless Never supply. Ending. I'm, there's yeah. always something that irks me. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can imagine yeah. me like, we, looking at something like We did a Nintendo Minute on this, but obviously we, we had to hold back. Oh, we held back so much. A little bit. Yeah. Um, and also we had to keep it to like Nintendo-focused things. Right, right. Um, so we're going back to a fun... Uh, a fun little segment that we used to do. It's called Unpopular Gaming Opinions. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think we only did one episode of this. Because it was tricky. It was really hard. Yeah, we really we, threatened that needle. We need to like, just <laughs> can't criticize cross the anything. Line. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't criticize. Yeah. That was a little hard. Yeah. Anyways, but we have two each today to share. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're, we're not holding back now, so let's get going. No. All right. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, I'll go first with a little series uh, that everybody knows and loves, Star Fox. Oh. I think there's a lot of big Star Fox fans out there yeah. who are just like on pins and needles of like, well, let's go. Let's get this next um, game going. Mm -hmm. And I, my unpopular opinion is I feel like this series needs a hard reboot oh, yeah. to be relevant at all today. I think like, what is Star Fox? It's a rail shooter. Mm -hmm. It's like, Rail shooters are like so out. Yeah, it's like you can beat it in like two hours. Mm -hmm. Like the value I think people want out of those games is not really there. Especially these days with like the 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 want and need of people to have to freely explore something. Right. It's so confined. It's so confined, yeah. yeah. So I think there's like a very small audience that would be happy with that kind of experience. Mm -hmm. But you know, looking at where that franchise was, it's like it needs to evolve. Oh, it yeah. needs to just start over. And I go back to the GameCube version, um, Star Fox Assault, which I, I honestly didn't play that much, but it had those sequences where you were on foot and you were kind of shooting around mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I feel like that could be a cool blueprint where it's like some of the times you're in flying around, some of yeah. the times you're on ground. Or do you ground. think if you're able to fly around more freely and explore like yeah, I mean, you know, different worlds Star or different planets yeah. or whatever? Star Fox Zero had some of that, but the controls for that were just so, so bad. weird. Yeah. No, they're um, bad. Like, you needed to be in... That last boss fight was just... You could not beat that. Oh, I stopped. I didn't finish yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've had enough because of this. Because it was bad. Yeah. Like, what was you that? You need to be, like, in Mensa to really master <laughs> yeah. those controls. There's no way. Was, like, any... I mean, you're a very good yeah. play, player. Like, there's it, no way anyone can beat this game. fighting those controls you, the whole way. It's just frustrating. So that was not the answer, obviously. No. But no, just... just uh, Star Fox? Oh, no, start over. Fine. Good characters, good good yeah, good concept. Cute dialogue, but you just slippy. need to throw everything out the window and just start over. I think that'd be great if they started yeah. over and just left nothing, so no bars right. cold kind of thing, and yeah. just yeah, like take the the characters right. and like sort of the 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 seed of the franchise and yeah. just totally redo it. Please get going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. It's that easy. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not busy or anything. Whatever. I do decree. <laughs> <laughs> Please start. Um, okay. My first yes. unpopular opinion is I think that Aerith from Final Fantasy VII is really overrated and really boring and kind of a bad character. And okay. I do not understand why that was like her dying or whatever yeah is such a big deal for all these people yeah because i never i had no connect i mean people talk about like that being like a significant moment in their lives mm. where they were like i don't know they had like an emotional slash like spiritual awakening or whatever yeah because this character dies and like it like Move them from like boy to man or whatever. Like oh, I've, I've like heard... Robert Pattinson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Batman. The Batman. The Batman. Um, but like people have these like very visceral kind of like real world emotions tied to the death of this character, yeah. and I just don't understand it. Like, why? Can someone explain it to me? Because she's really boring, and like there, I have no connection to this character at all. Well, um, do you have this? I, no, okay. I. Th I th I, 
I, so I have a theory. I think, you know, you, for a lot of series, it's like, the, you know, the first one you play is your favorite. Okay. And this one was the first one, you know, moving from Nintendo to PlayStation. So I think that, you know, that, and, and that's when sure. the series really blew up. So I think okay. that was the first Final Fantasy for I a lot of people. I think the game is great. I love Final Fantasy VII. So I think they really cling on to that. And I think, you know, that idea of like a character like dying and really being dead was kind of new. Is it new? For, for, ga- was- for games. Okay. Um, but why her? Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's it, such a cop-out. Like, if you wanted to really make an impact with, like, oh, we're really going to do something, like, sort of narratively out of the ordinary and kill off this great character, like, yeah. why is this such a boring character? I did like her a lot more in the remake, and I thought she was a better character. Oh, I did not in like the her remake? in the remake at all. Okay. She was even more boring in the <laughs> oh, remake. Oh, no. Especially that one time where you're, like, walking around with her in that, like, like what was that, like, the... Um, there was, like, this, like, area where it was, like, just, like, these little, like, got rails that you had to walk around on well, with her. Well, that was most of the game. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. I'm just like, can you, girl, can you hurry up? Oh, when you're, like, escaping that? Yes. Oh, yeah. And it was, like, three right. hours of, like, yeah. walking around this, like, pylon with her. And I was yeah. like, I'm yeah. so tired of you. Just shut up. Right. Like, go right. away. You're wow. so annoying. Okay. Yeah, I did not. I don't like her. Mm. At all. Wow. Are you done? Yes. Okay. My you saw a look of concern on my eyes because I actually have another one about Final Fantasy. And I was like, oh, do we have the same one? <gasps> I do have a secret third just in case. Oh, you, okay, I Final Fantasy. Fan- oh, came, I can't believe that we both have prepared, like Final yeah. Fantasy ones. Okay, um, we're thinking about this. Mine game. is that um, after Final Fantasy left Nintendo, it went into steep decline Ooh. for several years. I don't disagree with that. But you just said you love Final Fantasy VII. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> what side are you on? I guess I'm... I, that was the only one I liked, though, I yeah. think. Yeah, okay. After that one, I think it was pretty, yeah. pretty ro- rocky. Seven, eight, and nine, I just... I didn't like eight or nine. I just don't like... I think once it got to PS2 and you started with 10, it started to get back okay. on the upswing. But I feel like it was just style over substance with those mm. three games, and it was all about, oh, these crazy cutscenes and the yes... Future. And, like, yes, that, that brought in a lot of new players, and it probably, you know, boosted that series up to where it is now, but... I just didn't find them very interesting to play. Yeah. Um, I was I was also somebody... You wanted the fantasy part of Final well, Fantasy VII? Well, I, <laughs> or can't, Final fantasy? I can't even make that argument because Final Fantasy IX was kind of that same mm. fantasy theme. And I just, again, I just didn't, connect with didn't it, huh? like it. I, I went actually went back to that game recently when it came out on the Switch. I was like, I'm going to give this game another shot. I was like, oh, no. just not doing it for me. Interesting. So, again, I'm, I'm glad it's back on the upswing. Some of the more recent ones have been yeah. have been good. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I know, and again, so many people love those PlayStation 1 games. Yeah. I think they stink. Oh. Ouch. I don't think they, I mean, I, I don't think they were that bad, but I definitely liked the ones before. But I did like 7. I thought that okay. was an interesting, like, departure. I did like the 7 remake, although. The remake was really good. I was a little concerned about where they left off story-wise yeah, like it's supposed to be a part two i don't know so if, where, are, where are we going with this i don't know if part two is going to be for me if this is i know where we're going i know with this, i know but, that's but, true but that's part true. one is a self-contained thing i thought was very good i do think my again you you made a point about like what when were you playing this game and was it during like a formidable time yeah. in your life and when i played seven it really was yeah. um so i think i'm tainted a little bit yeah. you that. hear that also about like oh mario kart or smash brothers the first one you play is the one you like the best yeah or like just because like you you're discovering something about yourself and as you're playing yeah. these games like i i think i had like a very like i had a moment w- with final fantasy 7 where i was like connecting with my cousins and oh. th- this was something that we were you know we, i have just such fond memories of us staying up all night during the summers yeah. in china together like right. playing final fantasy 7 so it's like a little bit tainted. I, I don't yeah. know which is it the game that's good or just my memories of playing. Right, it, you right, know? right. So that could be yeah. the reason why too. I'll give my bonus third just as a <clears throat> a little extra here. Oh yeah. This is this is not that spicy. So again, we were talking about when we were getting Xboxes, and uh-huh. we wanted to get the Series X so badly. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, the, you know, that's the one to get. That's you I know, know. the S one is going to be watered down. Can't get it. But we both ended up getting the S. Yeah. And. I think for 99% of the people, you do not need the Series X. No. It's like, the graphics look great. They look great. Um, it's got all the you know same features. It costs $200 less. Yeah. You can actually get it. Um, so unless you... I couldn't you, tell. And so yeah. unless you are like, you know, counting pixels and you need all of that. Yeah, you have that, your 5K television. Just kidding. I don't yeah. know if that exists. <laughs> and initially, when they announced that version, I was like, oh, that's, that's lame. Who's going to want that? Why would you want this? Yeah. 
weakened version of that system, but they did a great job, Microsoft did, of, of I think so. giving it as much as it could um, at that price point. It's so cute, too. It's so little. It fits perfectly in my, like and it little, goes with my white thematic. A little, I hear, no, let's not start with so this. Nice. I don't, it's so beautiful. All right, we got to move on now. Yeah. Okay, so my other one is also- <laughs> You had another one? I didn't share my second one. Oh. You skipped me. I totally ranting. just jumped right over you. I was like, okay, Moving on. you can go twice, and then I can just sit here and listen to you rant about Xbox or whatever. Oh, no. Um, my second one is also like kind of narrative driven. Okay. Like, I'm really sick of these like dystopian zombie apocalypse games, okay. like The Last of Us stuff. Like, yeah. I'm really tired Kirby? of it. Not Kirby. <laughs> Not Kirby. Um, but you know, like the very like kind of dark. Yeah. Like we live in a dystopian world. Everyone's gonna die. It's gonna be terrible. Right. Like I'm like really over it. Like can we move on? So what? Give from me. That place, so you mentioned please? Last of Us. Give me like one or two more that are well, just like I definitely you know, think out on. I think definitely that, and then like the the second part of this is that like you know you talk about like the this whole like gimmick of like killing off characters and being yeah. like you know like let's be extra with like this drama and this yeah. game and let's like kill off a main character and blah blah like I think especially in those kinds of games it's like you're not doing it to really like advance the game or anything it's just like to get a rise out yeah. of the player like. Why would you, what's the point of this, you know? And this is not a zombie apocalypse game, but like, I, I keep thinking about the stupid Ghost of Tsushima thing where like they just randomly kill off that horse. <laughs> you were really been out of shape about that. I really am, okay? <laughs> Why did they do that? We were like two hours it was, from the end of the game. It was a little Why pointless. Why did we have to do that? But on the other hand, I didn't care, so. <laughs> But, like, what's with the pointless dying, though, you know? Like, I don't... And then, like, the, the way they did it was so, like, dramatically yeah. awful. Right. With, like, the arrows, like, yeah. sticking in your yeah. like, the horse is dead. Like, I mean, stop that. Don't do that. Just stop. Don't do that. All right. Rehaul of Star Fox and don't kill yeah. all these random characters. <clears throat> I have not played a Last of Us game. Obviously, they're critically acclaimed. That's what I'm saying. Especially yeah. Last of Us 2 came out, like, at the height of the pandemic when it's everybody like, was not what in, I need. in bad shape. And it was like, yeah, yeah, this is literally the last thing I want to experience right last now. Last of Us is the last and thing that I need. And then the, uh, quote, discourse around it was so terrible. It's like, this is a major turnoff to me. Like, why are people acting so terribly about this game that yeah. already is a Sounds awful. Yeah, sounds depressing and yeah. dark. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm I'm over it. Let's yeah. like, let's do post apocalyptic the Kirby way. The Kirby way with like the cute <laughs> the little dogs and stuff yeah. that you like beat up on. 